Foundation. Visudhai Maga. By. Bhattantakariya Buddhagosa. Translated from the Pali by. Bhikkhuneo Amalai. Part 3 Understanding, Punna. Chapter XX. Purification by Knowledge and Vision. Of what is the path? And what is not the path? Magamaganayotis in Avisuddhi Nidiza. 1606 The knowledge established by getting to know the path and the not path thus, this is the path, this is not the path, is called purification by knowledge and vision of what is the path and what is not the path. To one who desires to accomplish this should first of all apply himself to the inductive insight called comprehension by groups.1 Why? Because knowledge of what is the path and what is not the path appears in connection with the appearance of illumination, etc., xx.105f, in one who has begun insight. For it is after illumination, etc., have appeared in one who has already begun insight that there comes to be knowledge of what is the path and what is not the path. And comprehension by groups is the beginning of insight. That is why it is set forth next to the overcoming of doubt. Besides, knowledge of what is the path and what is not the path arises when full understanding as investigation is occurring, and full understanding as investigation comes next. To full understanding as the known, C19.21. So this is also a reason why one who desires to accomplish this purification by knowledge and vision of what is the path and what is not the path should first of all apply himself to comprehension by groups. The three kinds of full understanding. Three here is the exposition, there are three kinds of mundane full understanding, that is, full understanding as the known, full understanding as investigation, and full understanding as abandoning, with reference to which it was said, understanding that is direct knowledge is knowledge in the sense of being known. Understanding that is full understanding is knowledge in the sense of investigating. Understanding that is abandoning is knowledge in the sense of giving up, Payas I87. Herein, the understanding that occurs by observing the specific characteristics of such and such states thus, materiality, rupa, has the characteristic of being molested, rupana, feeling has the characteristic of being felt, is called full understanding as the known. The understanding consisting in insight with the general characteristics as its object that occurs in attributing a general characteristic to those same states in the way beginning, materiality is impermanent, 607 feeling is impermanent is called full understanding as investigation point to the understanding consisting in insight with the characteristics as its object that occurs as the abandoning of the perception of permanence, etc., in those same states is called full understanding as abandoning. For herein, the plane of full understanding as the known extends from the delimitation of formations, ch18, up to the discernment of conditions, ch19, for in this interval the penetration of the specific characteristics of states predominates. The plane of full understanding as investigation extends from comprehension by groups up to contemplation of rise and fall, xxi.3f, for in this interval the penetration of the general characteristics predominates. The plane of full understanding as abandoning extends from contemplation of dissolution onwards, xxi.10, for from there onwards the seven contemplations that affect the abandoning of the perception of permanence, etc., predominate thus. 1. Contemplating formations as impermanent, a man abandons the perception of permanence. 2. Contemplating them as painful, he abandons the perception of pleasure. 3. Contemplating them as not self, he abandons the perception of self. 4. Becoming dispassionate, he abandons delighting. 5. Causing fading away, he abandons greed. 6. Causing cessation, he abandons originating. 7. Relinquishing, he abandons grasping, pay is I 58. Point three. Five so, of these three kinds of full understanding, only full understanding is the known has been attained by this meditator as yet, which is because the delimitation of formations and the discernment of conditions have already been accomplished, the other two still remain to be attained. 
Hence it was said above, besides, knowledge of what is the path and what is not the path arises when full understanding as investigation is occurring, and full understanding as investigation comes next to full understanding as the known. So this is also a reason why one who desires to accomplish this purification by knowledge and vision of what is the path and what is not the path should first of all apply himself to comprehension by groups, to insight, comprehension by groups. 6. Here is the text, how is it that understanding of defining past, future and present states by summarization is knowledge of comprehension? Any materiality whatever, whether past, future or present, internal or external, gross or subtle, inferior or superior, far or near, he defines all materiality as impermanent, this is one kind of comprehension. He defines it as painful, this is one kind of comprehension. He defines it as not self, this is one kind of comprehension. Any feeling whatever, any perception whatever, any formations whatever, any consciousness whatever. He defines all consciousness as impermanent. He defines it as not self, this is one kind of comprehension. The I, etc., aging and death, whether past, future or present, he defines it as impermanent, this is one kind of comprehension. He defines it as painful, this is one kind of comprehension. He defines it as not self, this is one kind of comprehension. Understanding of defining by summarization thus, materiality, whether past, future, or present, is impermanent in the sense of destruction, painful in the sense of terror, not self in the sense of having no core, is knowledge of comprehension. Understanding of defining by generalization thus, feeling. 608, etc. Consciousness. I. Etc. Aging and death, whether past. Is knowledge of comprehension. Understanding of defining by summarization thus, materiality, whether past, future, or present, is impermanent, formed, dependently arisen, subject to destruction, subject to fall, subject to fading away, subject to cessation, is knowledge of comprehension. Understanding of defining by generalization thus, feeling, etc. Consciousness, I, etc. Aging and death, whether past, future, or present, is impermanent, formed, dependently arisen, subject to destruction, subject to fall, subject to fading. Away, subject to cessation is knowledge of comprehension. Understanding of defining by summarization thus, with birth as condition there is aging and death. Without birth as condition there is no aging and death, is knowledge of comprehension. Understanding of defining by generalization thus, in the past and in the future with birth as condition there is aging and death, without birth as condition there is no aging and death, is knowledge of comprehension. Understanding of defining by generalization thus, with becoming as condition there is birth. With ignorance as condition there are formations, without ignorance as condition there are no formations, is knowledge of comprehension. Understanding of defining by generalization thus, in the past and in the future with ignorance as condition there are formations, without ignorance as condition there are no formations is knowledge of comprehension. Knowledge is in the sense of that being known and understanding is in the sense of the act of understanding that. Hence it was said. Understanding of defining past, future, and present states by summarization is knowledge of comprehension, Payas I 53 F. 9 herein, the abbreviation, the I, etc. Aging and death, should be understood to represent the following sets of things alighted. 1. The states that occur in the doors of consciousness together with the doors and the objects. 2. The five aggregates. 3. The six doors. 4. The six objects. 5. The six kinds of consciousness. 6. The six kinds of contact. 7. The six kinds of feeling. 8. The six kinds of perception. 9. The six kinds of volition. 
10 the six kinds of craving 11 the six kinds of applied thought 12 the six kinds of sustained thought 13 the six elements 14 the 10 kajiyos 15 the 32 bodily aspects 16 the 12 bases 17 the 18 elements 18 the 22 faculties 19 the three elements 20 the nine kinds of becoming 21 the four yohanas 22 the four measureless states 23 the four immaterial attainments 24 the 12 members of the dependent origination 10 for this is said in the Pisamhita in the description of what is to be directly known bhikkhus all is to be directly known and what is all that is to be directly known 609 1 I is to be directly known, visible objects are to be directly known, eye consciousness, eye contact, feeling, pleasant, or painful or neither painful nor pleasant. That arises due to eye contact is also to be directly known. Here. Mind, feeling, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, that. Arises due to mind contact is also to be directly known. 11, 2 materiality is to be directly known consciousness is to be directly known 3 i mind 4 visible objects mental objects 5 i consciousness mind consciousness 6 i contact mind contact 7 i contact born feeling mind contact born feeling 8 perception of visible objects perception of mental objects 9 volition regarding visible objects volition regarding mental objects 10 craving for visible objects craving for mental objects 11 applied thought about visible objects applied thought about mental objects 12 sustained thought about visible objects sustained thought about mental objects 13 the earth element the consciousness element 14 the earth kajio the consciousness kajio 15 head hairs brain 16 the eye base the mental object base 17 the eye element the mind consciousness element 18 the eye faculty the final knower faculty 19 the sense desire element the fine material element the immaterial element 20 sense desire becoming fine material becoming immaterial becoming percipient becoming non percipient becoming neither percipient nor non percipient becoming one constituent becoming four constituent becoming five constituent becoming 21 the first yohana the fourth yohana 22 the mind deliverance of loving kindness the mind deliverance of equanimity 23 the attainment of the base consisting of boundless space the attainment of the base consisting of neither perception nor non-perception 24 ignorance is to be directly known aging and death is to be directly known pay us i 5f 12 since all this detail is given there it has been abbreviated here but what is thus abbreviated includes the supermundane states these should not be dealt with at this stage.